It's Bonnie. Happy Friday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like the seasons are colliding. It's freezing out. I've got Hawaiian Greg in the background. I'm all decked out for Halloween. And I'm doing a first impression of the brand new, check it out, uh, Midnight Spell Candle for Bath and Body Works for Halloween. I'm digging these glasses too. It's like, I love them when I put them on and now I'm like a thousand more times in love with these glasses. Thank you so much to uh, Lensmart. They sent me three pairs and they're all perfect for filming. I got a whole filming set of glasses. Um, there is a link below. Uh, you get 25% off at Lensmart if you use the code GEEKS. So, uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta talk a little bit more about Halloween. Halloween's just kind of rolling in the Bath and Body Works. I was gonna do a fall candle, but then I decided to light up Midnight Spell because everyone's asking me about the snake candle. So, um, I did review, um, Everlasting Magic with the glass lid. Um, I'll revisit these, obviously, um, closer to Halloween probably in like August, September. Uh, this is more of just like a first impression. I'm kind of thinking that Bath and Body Works will be doing like a member early access to Halloween. And I want you guys to have all of the up-to-date information. By the way, a lot of people are asking me the price of those larger wallflower plugs. I think they were like the $34 range, which is kind of pricey. Um, these these Halloween candles are $36.95. These are actually really pricey, but I still think a lot of people are going to buy them because they're absolutely gorgeous. So um, Midnight Spell is actually um, a dark purple wax. I'm just going to, I got a little wax on my finger here. Look at this. It's like a dark royal purple. Um, get this, I got a Kleenex over here. Um <laughs> What's interesting is I thought this was black wax at first. It is not. It is like a beautiful royal purple. Um, the Everlasting Magic is like a royal red. So we've got the nice like goth royal colors like all interweaved um, through the season. And then I think this lid is probably one of the creepiest lids we've had. Um, it's a metal snake. Look at this. And it's got the tail that wraps around when you put the lid on the candle. Um, it's very textured. And it's funny though, the snake actually, um, can, it does have eyes. I was like, does it have eyes? I couldn't see the eyes on it. Uh, yeah, the eyes are in gold, but boy oh boy, does this really scream um, kind of like Harry Potter, like creepy decor. Uh, the lid on this one is like a hard uh, white plastic. And then there's a little bit like of a, you know, the edge that's supposed to secure um, the lid to the candle. Kind of like on any lid, you have like that plastic rim. You just can't see it very well on this one, but it's there. Uh, the lid, however, does not stay on that snugly. Um, I've got my coffee and whiskey here. Um, actually, believe it or not. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there, it, it almost, does it fit better? No, it doesn't. I was going to say, does it fit better here? Um, this lid, believe it or not, almost looks like really cool, like on any candle. Like I'm almost thinking that people might like interchange, uh, these lids on these candles. Like look at how cool the snake looks on, um, Everlasting Magic. Like you could totally, uh, swap these around and create like a neat, like, I don't know, different look. I mean, this this goes on a lot of stuff. So um, this the scent on this candle is a little bit it's a little bit confusing to me. I don't love love it. Um, let me go here. It is um, mystic air, moonlit woods, and crystal amber. So it's kind of like a woodsy amber scent, which you know is not my thing. A lot of people I think are going to love this candle. It's not smoky at all. Like there's, there's not any smoke in this thing. Um, it does have a strong amber note and it does have, um, almost like a fall woodsy note, but it's not smoky and it, it smells outdoorsy. But like I said, it's not like a burning, it's not a campfire. Um, it kind of has a little bit like of a cologne scent to me. 
Um, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I personally prefer uh, the berries in Everlasting Magic like a thousand times over. But I really like the aesthetic of um, the Midnight Spell. It's just, it's beautiful. I love the black. I love, you know, the little like picture frame kind of thing going on. Um, first impression, uh, this one's not like super strong to me. I would call it like a medium. I actually got a lot better throw off of Everlasting Magic with the berry. I thought this one might be strong just because of the scent notes, but it's not like super, super strong. So um, I love it. I gotta say, I love it. I love the snake. I love the black. I love the whole concept. So it's still like a major winner to me. Um, scent wise, I just prefer the red one a little bit better. So I'll be revisiting these. We're going to rank them. I'm going to do some more uh, reviews on all the candles. By the way, uh, check it out. I got, I got this today uh, from Avon. Oh my goodness. I am feeling so... 80s tonight like I would have totally gone out in this like whole outfit black tea um really sparkly chandelier necklace <laughs> the glasses I'm digging this look this is all 80s all me I'm so excited this is like the the culmination of my uh my Elton John week <laughs> these glasses so much. Anyway, uh, thank you so much to Lensmart for sending me the glasses. And um, thank you to all of you for hanging out with me tonight and uh, experiencing a little Halloween. I got one more video. I am actually going to talk about um, the coffee and whiskey in the body care next. I'll see you in a few. Bye-bye.